So guys, I'm going to talk about the law of attraction based on the book, The Secret. I'm sure you're aware of that. It's sold millions and millions of copies worldwide. And uh, loads of people out there are trying to manifest, probably generations of people at this point, who have attempted to become manifestors of their own life experience. And um, I suppose really, it's a bit weird maybe for me to be talking about this as a therapist, because this is associated with sort of spirituality or maybe new age spirituality but uh, there's nothing wrong with having a place for spirituality as a therapist but the point of it is really i'm not here to show you how to be a manifester or how to be to to be a good manifester or how to get it whatever it is you want because as you might be able to see here i'm talking about the law of attraction and i'm going to talk about a good thing about it but bad things about the law of attraction okay because I'm actually not taking away anything from anybody. If you love the law of attraction, if you love the book, The Sacred, and you're out there and you're trying to work on it, that's absolutely fine. But for anyone who has had different experiences, there are some problems around this. And I'm actually going to show you something else, something better than that. So maybe we should just dive straight in here and talk about what the... We'll start with the good thing. The good thing about the law of attraction is this sold millions of copies and well actually the first thing i should mention for anyone who doesn't know law of attraction basically the the principle the theory behind it is you have emotions good and bad and basically you want to raise your emotional set point is what it would say um jerry and esther hicks have a book called um ask and it is given and compared to the secret, it's 10 times better than the secret, but it still has this uh, manifestation, trying to get external things in the world approach. But they all have the, the theory behind them all is that if you're constantly in a negative emotional set point, you will start to have experiences in the world. You will start to manifest things externally from yourself that are also negative. And alternatively, if you can work on it, you do enough work on yourself you raise your emotional set point from shame, despair, the low ones, all the way right up to joy and positive expectation. And then sure enough, you will start to manifest things differently, good things in your life externally. So that's the, the, the outline of it. And the good thing about this, before I get on to what I don't like about it and something else you can try instead, is that it, it raised awareness about the importance of being aware of what's going on in my inner world, not all externally focused just problem solving externally in the world so that's fantastic that's a good thing and that's something i totally endorse um, we do need to switch our attention from the external to the internal but there are problems with it um, i have five of them here i probably have more issues with it but okay it increases awareness i'm going to start here actually i think it kind of misdirects us. It does direct us back here into being aware of our emotions, but it kind of devalues your emotional reality or what you're going through emotionally because it's basically saying that you're going to start to work on and fix and manipulate your emotional set points to get them higher in order to get the external thing. So it's really saying your emotions are a means to an end, okay? Fix your emotions and then you'll get what you want, which is the reward. So it's basically saying your emotions are, are, are secondary. That's really what it's saying, okay? So the truth is that your emotions are your reality. Your, the quality of your life is completely the emotional quality of your life, or at least how you are with your emotions. Not the quality necessarily of the emotions, but how you, the relationship you have with your emotions in your life and how do you live with them. So that's a big problem. Okay. Now, the other thing it does is it creates this huge conflict within ourselves. Why is that the case? Well, you have a nervous system. You're, uh, and a nervous system, it's kind of like your immune system fights off the, the bacteria, a virus gets into your body and your immune system goes to work on that. You have a nervous system. Your nervous system is basically 
all the things that you've gone through in your life, your nervous system has reacted and kept you safe and come up with effective strategies, things that work for you on an emotional level, a psychological level, that has a set point now. It's like a, uh, it has a, a fixed posture. And the law of attraction basically says, yeah, no, that's, that's irrelevant, okay? You just need to fix the emotions that are there without ever trying to say, hold on, my, my set point, my emotional set points are based on a hugely complex and sophisticated series of events and factors that all came together to form my nervous system, my disposition as it is right now. So the law of attraction kind of undermines that whole process. It doesn't really seek to understand, well, why do I have these low emotions? Why are they present? Why are they here? And worse than that, it makes you judge yourself if your emotional set points are, are generally low. If you're typically anxious or if you're um, maybe depressed over a prolonged period of time or you're pessimistic, it's all due to your nervous system and your past, your past conditioning. There's nothing inherently wrong with that. In fact, your nervous system, the, the posture it has taken up based on probably all the horrible things and all the good things that's happened to you in your life has kept you safe. That's what has worked to get you to this point. So for us to come along and just say, oh, well, let's just use positive thinking or visualizing and uh, that'll fix it. You know, it's not going to happen, guys. And it shouldn't happen. It shouldn't happen because there's nothing wrong with you. There's nothing wrong with you if you have these bad emotions that we hear about, okay? They're there for a very good, perfectly fine reason. That's the real work. All of this stuff I'm talking about here, by the way, I'm moving into kind of a new approach to this, which is ending conflict within ourselves. Because the conflict in ourselves is the problem. The negative feelings aren't the problem, believe it or not. It's wishing them away, wanting to get rid of them, needing them to change, being in despair for the fact that they're here, okay? That's, it's the thoughts about the emotions that are really the issue. So it sets up this huge inner conflict and it's not good, guys, it's not good at all. What it does, I've written down persona here, what this book does, The Secret or anything about the Law of Attraction, it's, it's basically telling you to just no, forget about the negative stuff, okay? Forget about all those bad, horrible emotions that are probably tied to trauma, tied to trauma. And let's just visualize positive stuff. All this is doing for you is, is feeding into your persona. It's you being a spiritual person or you being a successful person or whatever, okay? Any approach, any psychology, any spirituality that does this is a waste of time <laughs> let me speak frankly about it it is a complete waste of time and again all it does is it uh, perpetuates inner conflict so you know we want to go deeper than a persona we don't want to have a good persona we want to kind of drop the masks a little bit and get more authentic with what's actually going on within ourselves what's my reality like you know it starts off with the third thing i'll talk about here is the assumption that there's something wrong with you and you are broken you know, I mean, if that's the premise we're starting with here, how is, are we ever even going to manifest anything, even if it is true? You know, I'm broken, so now I'm going to get to work on fixing my emotions and hopefully I'll manifest something good. When really, if that's the premise, every time you go in to do that into a session, a manifestation session, you're just reinforcing the idea that I'm broken, I'm defective, so let's get to work here and fix this. You know, do you see how kind of subtle this is? You're not broken. Your defense mechanisms, your, um, your past, your conditioning are all there for perfectly understandable reasons. It's to not fight against those reasons. It's to be a little bit more compassionate to ourselves. And then when we're not compassionate, to understand why we're not being compassionate. <laughs> you know? it's, it's everything. It's allowing everything. Like the, the book talks about allowing. Um, yeah, well, I think it probably talks about allowing good stuff, but what about the bad stuff? You know, we allow everything. We give respect and reverence to every inner experience that's there. All we're doing is bringing presence to those feelings when they come up. 
So I think I've talked about pretty much everything there. Um, the last one is not a small one either. The law of attraction doesn't work, right? It just doesn't work. The idea that if you have these emotional set points and you're working and raising your, your, your emotional levels, and then you'll, you'll manifest things that are in accordance with those, it's simply not true. And there's loads of ways you can think about that. I mean, how many things have you been afraid of in your life? And most of us, like, well, maybe not most of us, well, I would say most of us, but a lot of us have anxiety and low level fear or big fears or phobias. And how many of those things, we're in an emotional set point with those things, but do they manifest? No, they don't. And thank God the law of attraction doesn't work. Because can you imagine <laughs> what our lives would be like if it actually did work? Okay. What it really does is, the, 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 the element of truth that is in it is that the the thoughts we have and the beliefs we have and the intentions we have, they do shape our perceptions of the world, how we experience and how we see the world. So in that sense, they are important, absolutely. But this thing of manifesting externally, first of all, you shouldn't even be thinking that way because it's, it's misdirection to what's real, but it's just not true, okay? The fears we have, they don't manifest themselves almost all the time. Any, any therapist that works on anxiety will tell you this. You, know, you probably hear people saying all the time, 95% of the things you worry about don't come true. And isn't that great? The other thing is, there's another few ways you can think about this, like relationships. Opposites attract all the time. Someone that you are completely not in a vibrational match with, that's the person you might be attracted to the most. You know, Something else, actors. Okay, actors embody the role of someone who is a very, very different vibrational level to themselves, their own personalities. Now, do, does it happen in their lives that they start to manifest the things that are, are similar to the characters they're playing? Of course it doesn't, okay? Um, not in the least. It doesn't happen like that. People playing drug dealers or murderers or gangsters or whatever, you know, that's not what happens in, in their private lives, thank God. So... You, the point of it all, again, it's just so great that you can see it doesn't work because then you can just let yourself off the hook if you think you're giving something up because you're not giving up anything. The only thing we're giving up is inner conflict and we're gaining everything by bringing the focus back to where it should have been all along, which is on understanding ourselves, understanding any emotion that's present within myself and realizing oh, there's nothing wrong with me. There is nothing wrong with me the way I am, I'm actually, I'm actually okay. I'm actually okay. Now we will talk here about being progressive with this, about growing with this and how to work with that inner conflict and that resistance that we always run up against when we're trying to create something in our lives, something new, something different to the past conditioning. And there's absolutely nothing wrong with that as well. But the way we do that is to work with ourselves Stop fighting everything that's coming up and labeling it and trying to change it and fix it and to go with it. Allow it to go with itself. And then that conditioning starts to be less defensive, starts to feel less under attack and change comes more, more naturally. And we're going with uh, what Lao Tzu called the, uh, you know, being with the flow of life. Life has a flow. and All your past, all those things that happened to you, that was the flow of life. And the, the thing that brought you here is the thing that will bring you home, as, as Rumi said. You know, it's just to go with that flow of life rather than fighting against ourselves. So it's not about saying you can't do certain things because of your conditioning. You can absolutely do things. You can do anything, really, in truth. But it's to, it's to not fight against our past and condemn ourselves as being broken and stuck and never been able to change ourselves. You know, that's all the story. That's all the story, and uh, it's not real, it's not authentic. So there it is, guys, five, five flaws as I see it with the law of attraction. I'm sure um, some people will think I'm wrong, but uh, I'd love to really get your feedback on this and let me know what you think. Also, if you would like to work with me, you can, in terms of lowering this resistance, inner conflict, um, because that's practical. It's practically applied to every aspect of your life. And also I'm making a course on my, on my website. I already have a, a video course there for um, self-sabotage and procrastination, but I'm making another one of this on ter in terms of um, how to integrate ourselves 
fully and end the inner conflict. So um, go to my website and uh, keep an eye there as well if you're interested in that course, which is on the way. So guys, I'll leave it there for today. Thanks so much for watching. And uh, there's nothing wrong with you. You're fine. And you are capable of change that's gradual and has self-regard for where you currently are right now. Take care of yourself. Bye.